Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I... Re Hello, Eivor! <laughs> Eivor! Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. anything else that's all for now return any time they must be finished now if you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Sunin, guide me.
Hamuram. Hamuram. Balka. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust. Or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Valka. Felt nothing. Javi! 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 I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? No other way, Harvey. 
Our fates are fixed. Sing it! Valka, I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin. And the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed. Fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory. And you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. 
It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come. ...of your future, and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained... ...until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! <laughs> 